Good afternoon. My name is Julian Gordon and today I'm going to talk to you about the concept of social creation. We currently live in a world that is focused on social change. And when we think of change, we think about changing a percentage of minorities making it to CEO status in corporations from maybe 3% uh, currently to 4 or 4% 4 or 5%. But social creation has to do with creating the world that we want here and now. What we need to understand is that change is the end result of creation. Change itself is not necessarily the action. If we look at Newton's laws of motion, we know that the first law states that if something is currently moving without any energy or cre created or pushing against that which currently is, then it will stay um, in the current direction that it's moving. So, in order to create, we need to think in the language of create change, not let's just change this. Because in order for the change to happen, there needs to be some sort of created act that leads to that end result. When we think about Gandhi, though he said the quote, be the change that you want to see, the real verb in there is be. And B is where the act of creation actually takes place. It's you being who you are and that inevitably changing whatever it is that you want to see change in the world. Change, again, is the end result of, of the action that was created by you and your imagination and your ingenuity and your innovation. So with that, I just want to say thank you. Be the change that you want to see create the change that you want to see and that change is the end result of creation so ask yourself what are you creating and how is that affecting what it is that you inevitably want to change thank you